today we'll have a look at links, bookmarks, hyperlinks and cross-references. So we start with EXE 2014 Q1 statistics. We need to find the word smarter in the second last line of the document. Let's just go find that. Okay, so it has to be that. And then we need to add a hyperlink to this text as follows. The hyperlink must link to the website http www.smarthealtheating.com Okay, and the text Eat Smart must display when the mouse hovers over the hyperlink. Okay, I'm going to try to remember all of that. So, I will select the word, right click, hyperlink. And the address it needs to link to is, what was it, Eat Smart health eating. Smart health eating .com. And they said it needs to display eat smart when the mouse hovers over it. And that is a screen tip. Okay, and let's see if that works. If I hover over that, it says eat smart. And I'm not going to test the link. If I go to right click edit hyperlink and it shows the correct link over there, then I have the correct information. Uh, oh, I forgot the www. I don't think they would have actually penalized you for that, but there you go. All right. Next up, we have uh, one energy and we need to find the text resources under the image on the third page of the document. I'll just go search resources um, under the image and we are on the third page of the document. Okay, I'm just going to close that and just check. Ah, okay, they have highlighted this one for me, so this is obviously the one they want me to use. Um, create a hyperlink on this text that links to the heading where does our energy come from in this document? Okay, so we're linking to a heading. So I'm going to right click on that word after I've selected it. Hyperlink. And I think they said where does our energy come from? Uh, yes. And I'm under, so I'm not under existing file, I'm under place in this document. Where does our heading, uh, where does our energy come from, which is a heading. Okay, and if I hover over that and I actually test it, it jumps to that hyperlink. You can move back to the place where you started by holding an Alt and your left button, your left arrow. There you go. Okay, in one brain we need to find the word Napoleon below the heading Conclusions. Uh, Napoleon behind the heading Conclusions. Come on, there it is. Okay, so that's the one they're referring to. Add a hyperlink to this word as follows. The hyperlink must be linked to the document One History in your examination folder. Display the text Read More when the mouse hovers over the hyperlink. Okay, so this is in June 2015. So I'm going to right click hyperlink. And in this is instance, it has to be an existing file or web page. In June 2015, one history. And they said the screen tip needs to read. I think they said read more. Yes, read more. Read more. Okay. And if I hover over that, it says read more. And I've selected the correct document to link to. Next up, we're starting with bookmarks. So in the document to bully, we need to find the heading, how do I deal with it? And add a bookmark called stats to this text. If it's a heading, I can probably find it by putting the navigation pane on it, uh, navigation pane on. There you go. How do I deal with it? So I'm going to select the text. And I'm going to go to insert bookmark and call the bookmark stats add. If 
I want to test if it worked, I can just go anywhere else in the document, go to bookmarks and say go to and you'll see it actually selected the correct text. In one effect, we need to add a bookmark called heat to the heading two heat waves. So I select the heading, insert bookmark, bookmark name heat, add and if you want to test bookmark go to yes it jumped to the correct section. Okay, in March 27, 2015, um, we need to open the 7 Act and locate the text Temperatures. Let's just go first find that. There it is. And add a cross-reference to the bookmark called Graph. Okay, so I'm going to not replace the word, so I'm just going to stand right next to it and go to insert cross-reference and I'm going to cross-reference to a bookmark called graph and I think I will just insert the bookmark text they didn't specify what they want so I'll say insert close oh I see okay the word was also temperatures that's weird so I'll delete that and let's see if I control click yes it does jump to that graph Next up, we've got two resources where we need to find the text production is slowly declining. There it is. And we need to add a cross-reference to the entire caption of the year-on-year -year changes table in the place of this text. Okay, so this time we are going to select it because we're basically going to delete it. Um, the entire caption of year-on-year -year changes table. So I can actually first delete that if you want um, or you could have just inserted it straight over it. Cross-reference and this time it's a table. Year-on-year -year changes, entire caption, insert, close. Control click. Yay, it worked. For the last one, we, want, we need to find the text Table 1 in the fourth paragraph on the page after the map. Okay, so on the page after the map, there you go, Table 1. Gosh, then make sure you can see it, hey? Uh, then, add a cross-reference on this text that links to the Water Source Area Table on the next page. Okay, so on this text make it sound like they want to replace that. Insert, cross-reference. Um, and they set the table, huh? Uh, water source area table on the next page. Let's just first double check what this thing is called. Uh, table 1. Okay, so it is this one. So I'll select that. And I'll go to cross-reference and it's still a table for table one i'm just going to put in the whole caption insert close and now if i control click it jumps to that caption